Well, it's pretty windy out here. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, but uh, as as the Jagman does, I was browsing on eBay one late night. And there was a really lovely 1999 S-Type for sale, starting at a dollar. So I thought, no reserve. I might just put 400 bucks on it. I'm not going to win it. But guess what? <laughs> I won it. Yep, I won it. And it's still registered, and it still goes. I haven't had a real good look at it yet, but we'll take it home and just have a little sneak around it. <laughs> Another one. Oh, I don't know, not really getting any better, am I? This year's my $400 S-Type, got a home, it's not too bad, a little bit of fading, a bit of fading on the paint, it's a pretty straight car, there's no door dents, so oh, there's a couple little dents, Got a little bit of rust in those pillars, that'll fix that up, a bit of paint on the mirror, we got a lot after that, and a bit of a buff. Wow. Bit of damage there, but it's only superficial. We can fix that up. Tires? They're all right. They're not new. <clears throat> it's quite common for these to rust on those pillars. I think water must get in up top there and sit down below and rust from the inside. You can buy covers for those, so I'm going to clean it up and put some covers on it. Windows have been tinted, which has probably helped protect the interior somewhat. I mean, it's not perfect. Headlining's sagging. Leather's okay. Needs a good drink of leather conditioner. But it's okay. Except for this little cut there. That's a worry. I've got to get some leather binder for that. Get some leather binder, I'll bind that with leather and then I'll fill it. We should be able to repair it. And so it hasn't got too much grain in that little bit, so it's not going to be able to be able to see it too much. Back seat's good, just needs a good clean. Let's start it up. Now he told me you shove that bit of paper in there because if you put it in park, it'll lock and you can't get it out. So I'm not going to put it in park at the moment. We're just going to leave it as that as it is and start it in neutral put on the brake just in case it starts pretty nicely and initially when the battery was flat I was getting all these warning lights but they've all seemed to have gone out now both tail light fails tail lamp lights fail but no real bad warning lights there which is Pretty good thing. Can't find the code for the radio, which is a bit of a blow. Generally, these S types sort of uh, they're pretty uh, fragile with the plastics. At this age, they break; those door handles break, but they seem to be still in good order. Have a look under the bonnet. Ticking over pretty nicely. It's pretty clean under here. No oil splashing around anywhere. I wonder if it's been cleaned. It sort of has its covers over the struts, so they haven't been washed or cleaned, but um, it's looking pretty clean. Well, she's done 206,000 kilometres and it's got some service history of it, so that's a big plus. They can do it with a good polish, but we'll get to them. They'll come up brand new. She is puffing a little bit on that left hand bank. 
but it's probably just a plug or maybe a uh, coil but she's running on all six I mean, what can you expect for 400 bucks okay let's take it for a little drive to see what Dixie's like I haven't driven it yet oh, see what's on I've got enough fuel yeah, a little bit of fuel in there these S types when they first came out in um, 2000 and 1999 I wasn't never really wrapped in the retro design that's for sure We've got ABS light coming on well, that's a bit of a blow traction control fault we've got the traction control fault we have a really nasty rattle up that front end I don't know where that's coming from Plenty of power. Anyhow, yeah, so, um, and then, so this thing comes out there, it's got a Ford derived V6 3 litre. They just had, they came out with a 2.7 diesel and they had the AJ8 V8 engines and later they brought the supercharged engines uh, into them. Oh, she's quite really rattly up at the front end. That's most likely why they didn't get a. Uh, Anyhow, um, yeah, so the, and I think Jaguar modified the engine to some what they like did the uh, different style head on it with some variable valve timing. It's a Ford gearbox in these, they've got a five speed Ford box gearbox, <clears throat> and I think later the uh, the update versions came out with a uh, ZF six speed transmission, which would be the better car. And now that only could be just sway bar bushes that's making that noise because she's pretty direct with the steering back feels good yeah I'm sure I can fix those front things I've got some um, you can buy the um, if, if it the only other thing that I've noticed it wears on these is the upper wishbone bushes and you can get aftermarket ones really quite cheap and they're relatively uh, easy to put in as well Brakes feel good. <laughs> Rattles ugly. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. It's ugly. The horn works. It's good. Gearbox seems to change. It's, it's, it's running fine. Rattle. It's metal to metal. Get under there and have a look at it. Get this headlining fixed. I better put this in the back where it belongs. Oh, wipers work. I forgot to try whether. The air conditioning works. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I hear the compressor click on. 20, 20, uh, 0.5 degrees. Let's put up 21. Cool air. That's another bonus. We've got 70 pluses. Doing good with this old girl. Well, when I saw that bit of tape over that window switch, I know what's going on there. That win window mechanism in that door has collapsed. It's a wire mechanism with plastic um, corner brackets that actually decay and break. So that's gone, and I bet you I can confirm that by... If I try and open it with... She ain't opening. 
she's knackered. But um, you can buy the uh, the kits for them to put them in. It's a little bit tricky getting them in and out, but there's a few YouTube videos of doing it. So we know we might have to do that on that window, but that's not priority. Well, it's good that this thing still came with the books. And they're all in there except for the code for the radio. Just a shame. It looks like it's had about three or four owners. Mm. <laughs> Changed it out. First owner was in Sydney and then Vaucluse was the second owner. So it's had all its service history. It's pretty groovy. Like that, it's always a good sign up until 166. And even though that was a 192 mileage one, that was in uh, 9th 15. So seven years later, it's got 206 on it. So it's only done 40,000 kilometers in seven years. And the oil sticker on the windscreen is up to date. So that's a good bonus. Well, I didn't have much time to work on that old girl today. Blake had to come back to the big smoke and pretend to do some work, real work. Anyway, I uh, went to my chest of drawers to see what I can find in regards to those pillar covers to cover that rust. <coughs> and I bought these years ago for another example that had a similar issue, but we sold it with the rust still showing. So they're chrome underneath that protective cover, but I'm cleaning that other rust up and that'll be a treat over the top of that rust spots. They'll look good. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And next week we'll get back up the coast and we'll tackle some of those little issues that's wrong with that thing. Should be fun. And if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, just press that handsome bloke down there. He'll look after you. Cheers, catch you next time.